Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Dad Talk. My name is Ken. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe right now. Uh, today we're going to be talking about what is in my daughter's Easter basket. She is one year old and last year she really didn't have that much for Easter. She just had like a small basket with a stuffed animal in it. This year we wanted to make sure we, we got a little, little more uh, that she could like, you know, remember. <laughs> um, but she was two months last year so it really didn't seem like a... a it didn't seem like a priority to get her like a whole bunch of stuff that she wasn't really going to be able to enjoy. Uh, at least with this stuff, we think she's really going to be able to enjoy it. So let's start uh, with a, with something really simple real quick. This thing, sorry about that noise. I think I just ruined it. So this, this right here is like a, it's like a puzzle. It's like baby's first puzzle, I think it was called. And uh, this is pretty cool because she likes puzzles. She likes like putting things together. She has like the, you know, the stackable donut thing. Uh, she really enjoys that, so uh, we think that this is going to be a, a good option for her. It's just a quick little easy puzzle. I, I can see these things getting all over the house and like getting stepped on and uh, you know getting caught between our toes and just causing us a lot of pain and anguish. But the baby will get some smiles out of it, uh, whether she's with you know using it as a puzzle or hurting us. She's going to enjoy it either way. Uh, it's really cute. I like that it's farm animals. We found this at Target. Um, they had a couple different options too, as far as like the animals that were on it. Uh, but this one, this one I said we should get because she likes barnyard stuff for some odd reason. I don't know. I think our baby in a past life was a farmer. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's really cute. I think she's going to enjoy that. Uh, let's get right to a basket right now though. It's a nice little simple felt bunny basket. This again, I believe was at Target. Uh, this is what she's going to use on Easter to kind of stroll around the house and pick up eggs. That's probably not what's going to happen. She's probably going to look at this, swing it around, and then leave, and then just go do what babies do. But <laughs> that's the idea. This is going to be her Easter uh, egg basket for her eggs. Uh, inside here we have two books. The first one, first 100 words, because every baby needs uh, 100 words, I guess, or more. I have no idea. How many words should a baby be speaking at one year old? She says dada pretty well, so that's good, right? But it's pretty cool. It's got a whole bunch of different words and pictures to go along with them. So not only is she learning, you know, the word, but she'll learn what it correlates to, which is absolutely awesome. I don't think she's going to do much learning with this book. She kind of likes to close books when I, when I hand them to her. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the next book we have is uh, Baby Touch and Feel Farm. She has a lot of Baby Touch and Feel books. These are her favorite. She likes to open them up and just kind of like go crazy with them she has one with a bunny and she's like constantly just like poking that bunny's tail uh so she she loves these uh, she absolutely loves these uh i'm glad that we got her another one uh, it's adorable it's got like a pig oh the pig is so cute oh and a cow. look at a baby cow guys like come on baby cow also in this basket is some gerber uh, what are these? Fruit and veggie melts. Uh, Scarlett thoroughly enjoys uh, Gerber melt type products. She also likes Happy Baby brand, but we got these. Uh, she's never had this particular one before. Uh, so hopefully she enjoys this as much as she enjoys the other ones. Freeze dried fruit and vegetable snack. That's pretty cool. No artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, no preservatives. It seems to be somewhat healthy for a baby. It does have four grams of sugar though, which I don't know. I wish I had read that before looking at the package because to me, that's a lot of sugar for a baby, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Moms, sign off in the, in the comments down below. Let, let me know, is, is four grams of sugar too much? I don't think it is. It just seems like a lot. I don't know, it's weird. All right, so next we have this wonderful, wonderful large llama book. Uh, we got this at Target as well. This thing is, it's humongous. Like this is going to be her biggest book, at least I think. I, I can't think of any other book she has that's this big. And she likes just opening and closing books on her own. Obviously we enjoy reading to her too, but just having more books in the house just seems to make her happy and more active. And she makes a giant mess with them, but I'm okay with it because why are there so many underwear? That's what I said. Oh my God, it's three pages of, three pages of underwear. like. Maybe we should have read this book before buying it. I might have to second get this book belongs to and you write it on the underwear. <laughs> what? All right, where is this book going? That's what I need. Be different, be llama, let's glow. And he's laying all sexual. 
Why did we not look at this before buying it? Look, look at them. Um. What, what is, what is this? What's going on here? All right, so we'll put this book aside right now. I don't know if that's appropriate for a one-year-old. And we'll go to the the main basket, as Marissa would call it. This is the whole kit and caboodle. This is this is Marissa's big basket. Uh, she did a good job putting this together several times in front of me while she cried on camera. It's it's <laughs> it's okay. Um, the only reason I'm, I'm mentioning that is because Marissa already put out a what's in our Easter basket uh, video. You should go check that out. It's awesome. Uh, the only reason I'm doing it myself is so that I can have it on my channel too for anyone that might not watch our daily vlogging channel. Uh, but she did a great job with this. I like it. It's it's not too much. It's not overwhelming. And if I was a baby, um, this basket would make me really happy just because it, it just seems, you know, normal and not over the top. And I, I really like it. Sometimes my parents, I don't know if you guys had this experience, but my parents would go a little crazy with our Easter baskets and our grandparents would go crazy. And we'd end up having this like three foot tall monstrosity and at the end of the day, I had no idea what was in it. Maybe like some really cool stuff that I just didn't see because all I saw was candy. I have no idea. But yeah, uh, I'm so glad that Marissa keeps it very minimal and just very simple and it's awesome. The first thing we have in here, um, aside from the empty plastic eggs, which will contain some treats for her on Easter day, we have this little shapes puzzle. Um, you take the top off and the pieces can like come out and then you put them in the, you know, the corresponding sizes. Uh, Scarlett has quite a few toys like this and she is a master at it now. Uh, when she first started uh, playing with toys, I thought, okay, this isn't going well. She's not going to ever be able to do this. But now she like stacks her donuts and she does like all the shapes and sizes things like a champ uh, far better than I do. Um, did I just insult myself? I guess so. Anyway, uh, moving on. We... I was going to say, if you want, you can say by, it's by Melissa and Doug. This match is by uh, Match and Roll Shape Shorter. Sorter. This is a, a Match and Roll Shape Sorter by a guy and a girl. Melissa and Doug. <laughs> uh, Melissa and Doug. I have no idea who you are, but hey, Melissa and Doug, good job with your this because I like it. I like the colors. I'm a very simple man. Next in the basket, we've got some treats here. We've got some Happy Baby Creamies. I'm sure she's going to absolutely love these because she likes. She likes this stuff. She likes this brand. Um, what flavor is this? Apple, spinach, peach, and kiwi. Not sure I would ever try that, but... Okay, Scarlett, you're gonna have four very odd things that don't go well together. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure they're great. That's just so weird. Apple, spinach, pea, and kiwi. That's like... I mean, kids like apple, kids like kiwi, but... Peas and spinach. Okay. Next thing we have is cinnamon graham. Oh wow, these these look amazing. Animal crackers uh, made by Gerber. They're 30 calories for 24. Uh, no, two cra wow, two crackers is 30 cal. She can't have a lot of these. That's a <laughs> 30 That's calories for two. All Just right. two is 30 calories. It's a treat. Yeah, I'm, wow. That's it's crazy because these are like what half a calorie. Well, small. Yeah, you can have 25 of these for 30 calories, or you can have two of these at 30 calories. Uh, these sound like they would, well, I don't think they sound. The name indicates to me that these would taste very well. Uh, cinnamon graham. Who doesn't love graham crackers or cinnamon? And the last thing in this basket is this never touch a grumpy bunny. I think she has like a never touch a porcupine one. Uh, she tends to like these touch and feel books. This one's pretty big and it's got a pretty good selling feature right on the front for her right there because the second she puts her hands on this, she's going to feel that weird bunny belly and bunny nose. It's very just, I don't know what the word is. It just, it gets rubber. your attention. Yeah, it's like hard rubber, like if a tire were a book. Um, <laughs> when you open it up, it's got many other rubbery uh, feeling type things. I, I guess that's this company's business is rubber. Um, the bunny's got a, a nice rubber carrot here. Um, the next is like a rubber chicken belly. At least the uh, the baby touch and feel books have like all different types, but this book has like all the same feel. But it's okay. It's still a good book. It's still very colorful. It's still gonna catch her eye. But it's it's all rubber. It's all rubber, guys. <laughs> Every single one feels the same. But it's all right. It's a cool book. I like it. Oh, ice cream. I want ice cream. 
it's a very nice book. I'm, I'm glad she's going to be getting it. And I think that's it. I, I think I just went over everything she's getting for Easter. She might get more from us. I don't know. I think we finished shopping, but are we ever really done? Well, guys, if you like the video and if you like the basket, if you think we did a good job with Scarlet's Easter, let us know down in the comments below. Uh, hit the thumbs up on this video. Give us ideas for next year's Easter, too, because I know... I know that when she's two, she's going to be able to retain a lot more information and have a lot more enjoyment out of her Easter basket. So leave suggestions down below in the comments on what we should get her next year. This year, I think we did a perfect job at keeping it very minimal, keeping it simple, practical, and things that she's actually going to enjoy. If you have anything you want to say to us, let us know in the comments. And we'll see you next time. I'm jealous. I want an Easter basket. How come we don't get each other Easter baskets? We can. We should. All right, let's do it. Seems like a lot of work. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.